Hi everyone, I'm Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafunda.com. Welcome to another solved example on logical reasoning. In this question, we are given 10 players participated in a rifle shooting competition comprising of 10 rounds. Each round has six participants. Player number one to six participated in round one, two to seven in round two, five to 10 in round five, and so on. What happens at round six and beyond? Well, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 1. So it repeats. So it keeps on going in a circle like a clock. The top three performers were awarded 7, 3 and 1 points. There were no ties in any of the 10 rounds. The table below gives the total number of points obtained by the players after round 6 and round 10. So say for example, Amita or A has scored 8 points after round 6. How is that possible? Must have scored 7 in one round and 1 in another round. Bala has scored 2. So that is only possible with 1 and 1. Chen has scored 3. Now this is possible in various ways. It could be 1, 1, 1. It could also be 3. So we don't know. But we know a few other things. This is the score after round 6. In the first 6 rounds, Amita has participated in which rounds? So Amita will definitely play in round 1. But round 2 is 2 to 7. So Amita is not there. Round 3 is 3 to 8. Again, Amita is not there. Round 4 is 4 to 9. Amita is not there. 5 is 5 to 10. Amita is not there. Amita is only there in round 1 and round 6. So that means the score of 7 and 1. One of them, she has scored 1. And in another one, she has scored 6. What happened in uh, round 7, 8, 9, 10? We'll come to that later. Very similarly, Bala has a score of 2 after 6 rounds. But in the 6 rounds, Bala did not participate in all of them. Bala participated in round 1 because it was 1 to 6. Round 2 because it was 2 to 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, Bala was not allowed to participate. Which means the score of 2 which Bala has obtained, that must have come from round 1 and round 2. So she has scored 1 and 1 in both of them. And if in round 1, Bala has scored 1, then Amita cannot score 1 in round 1. So Amita must have scored 7 in round 1 and 1 in round 6. Let me just make the table on a round-wise basis. Perhaps it would be a little bit easier. As a matter of fact, the middle guys are not going to help. Let me look towards the end. Joshin has a score of 14. Joshin did not take part in the first four rounds, one, two, three, four, because round four had four to nine. So Joshin, the score of 14 must have come only from round five and round six. And in two rounds, he has scored 14. The only way he can do that is if he scored seven, seven in both of them, which means I have the winner for round five and round six. And that has to be Joshin in both of them. Anything else? Ikea has scored 2. The only way Ikea can do that is 1-1. One, one. Hansa has scored 1. The only way Hansa can do that is 1. Let's check for Ikea. So Ikea will not be there in round 1 or 2 or 3. Ikea will be there in rounds 4, 5 and 6 because 4 will have 4 to 9, 5 will have 5 to 10, 6 will have 6 to 10 and 1. So Ikea score of 1-1 one, one, must have come in rounds 4 or 5 or 6. But 6 is already occupied. That means IKEA must have got round 4 and round 5. They, he must have got 1-1 one, one here. The only place now left for Hansa to score a 1 is round 3. So this must be H. So what we have done is we have figured out the third ranks in all the first six rounds. Let us see if we can figure it out for anyone else. We have a score of Gordon as 17. We are also given that Gordon did not score consecutively in any two rounds. Gordon is player number seven. So one to six participated in round one. So Gordon was even there in round one. Gordon is there only in round two to round six. And we are given that he scored in alternative rounds, which means he must have scored in round two, round four, and round six. 
and in three rounds he has managed a total of 17. How can he do that in three rounds? The only way to do that is he must have got 7, 7 and 3. Well, he cannot give a 7 in round 6 because J is already there. That means Gordon must have gotten a 3 year and in 2 and 4, Gordon must have gotten first position or he would have got a 7, 7. Now we have only one person who is missing in round 3, the winner of round 3. Who can this be? Let's look at the table. Is there anyone who is more than 7? Yes, Fatima is at 10, which means Fatima must have scored a 7 here. And then Fatima must have scored another 3. Where did she score that 3? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Eric and Fatima both scored in a round. So Eric and Fatima, the only place where both of them can score is in round 3, which will make Erica, Eric in round 3 scoring a 3. So now we have accounted for Eric's score also. Who are left? Well, in the middle, David's 6 is left. So I need 2 Davids somewhere in rounds 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have Chen as a score of 3. So Chen must be one of these, one of the first 2. David will be one of these. The only person who needs another 3 is Fatima. It cannot be in 1, 2, 3, 4 because two of these are occupied by D. One of these is occupied by C, which means Fatima's 3 must have come in round 5. And now for C and D, C could be here, C could be here also, D could be here, D could be here also. We don't know what's happening, but one of these is C and one of these is D. D is the one who has scored two threes or two silver medals. So the only person who can do that is in round four in the middle. Please note that Chen cannot score in round four because Chen participated in A, B, C only in the first three rounds. So this is our complete ranking for the first three rounds. Let's check what happens in the next four, which is round seven, round eight, round nine, and round 10. Only two players scored in three consecutive rounds. One of them was Chen. How much score has Chen improved by? Chen has gone from 3 to 6. That means he has done a plus 3. We are also given that Chen scored in three consecutive rounds. So it could be 7, 8, 9. It could be 8, 9 and 10. Let's see which rounds can Chen participate in. Well, Chen cannot take part in round 7 because round 7 will be 7, 8, 9, 10 and 1, 2. Chen can take part in rounds 8, 9 and 10. If he cannot even take part in round 7, how is he going to score there? He can't. So the Chen scores of 1, 1, 1 must have come in rounds 8, 9 and 10 and that is how Chen has scored in 3 consecutive rounds. There is one more player who has scored in three consecutive rounds and he must have got some sevens or some threes. Let's see who that player is. Who is improving a lot? Amita is going from 8 to 18. Well, 8 to 18 can be obtained by just 2 by doing 7 and 3. 2 to 5, Bala is going from 2 to 5, so gain of 3. Chen we have already taken care of 3 and 10, 10 and 10, 17, 17, 1 and 4. Ikea is moving up by a total of 15 points. How is that possible? If it scores in three rounds and it scores 7, 7 and 1. That is the only way you can get up to, seven, uh, up to 17 in three rounds. So Ikea needs 7, 7, 1. Three consecutive rounds. Ikea can score 1 only in round 7 because all others are occupied. That means in 8 and 9, IKEA must have scored a 7. Then we are given Joshin scored in round 7. So Joshin has gone from 14 to 17. So Joshin has scored a 3, which means Joshin gets a 3 here or middle. Amita scored in round 10. Amita has gained 10 points. 
or 7 and 3 which means Amita's 7 and 3 it could be 7 here and 3 here or it could be 7 here and 3 here this doesn't really help me who is the other player who would have scored a 7 so we have Amita as 7 and 3 we will fit that in somewhere but we need one more person who has scored a 7 let's see who that is uh, cannot be Bala only gain of 3 cannot be Chen cannot be David Eric is moving from 3 to 10 so Eric has scored a 7 which rounds has Eric participated in Eric cannot participate in uh, round 7 because that will be 7 8 9 10 1 2 8 9 10 1 2 3 no 9 10 1 2 3 4 again no the only round Eric can actually take part in is round 10 so the only place he could have scored this 7 is in round 10 which means Eric gets a 7 here and if Eric gets a 7 here or Eric gets the gold medal in round 10 Amita must have gotten a gold medal in round 7 and Amita we know scored in round 10 also so Amita is in the medal here then there are two more players that I need who must have scored 3 and 3 who are those two players let's check Bala is one of them going from 2 to 5 so one of these positions will be occupied by Bala the other person who is growing by 3 is Hansa is moving from 1 to 4 so Hansa is the other player Bala will participate in what all rounds well Bala will be there in round 7 also 8 also 9 also and 10 also so Bala is there in all of them Hansa on the other hand will be there in round 7 and in round 8 so Hansa's score of 3 must have come in 7 or 8 7 silver medal or 3 points is already occupied by Josh Lin which means Hansa got the silver medal in round 8 and then the only position which is left for Bala to score a silver medal is round 9 and this will be my final arrangement let's have a look at the questions now question 1 what were the scores of CDE after round 3 let's check C D and E so C must have scored a silver medal D must have scored a silver medal E must have scored a silver medal all three of them have scored a silver medal in the first three rounds so all three of them will be on 333 or option 2 will be my answer here which three players were in the last three positions after round 4 so let's check after round 4 that means till here is there anyone who has not scored a has scored b has scored c and d are at 3 3 e f have scored g h has also scored i has also scored j has not scored till now j has not scored so j is at zero j is at the last position and i and h are the only ones who have scored one one so i and h are at one each that means the last three players are i h and j do I have that in the options? Yes, I have that in the options as option 1. That will be my answer here. Which player scored points in the maximum number of rounds? Well, we'll have to count it out. Let's check for IKEA. IKEA has scored twice in the first 6 and 3, 4, 5. So IKEA has scored a total of 5 times. Let's look for Chen. Chen has scored once here and thrice here so Chen has scored a total of four times how about Amita Amita has scored once twice thrice and four times so Amita has scored four times Joshin Joshin has scored twice here and then a third time here so Joshin has scored thrice who has scored the most number of times Ikea has scored the most number of times Ikea has scored five times which players scored points in the last round let's check e a and c scored points in the last round do i have e a c yes the first option itself is e a c so first option will be my answer here so this question is something that i would recommend you avoid in the actual exam it will take a lot of time to make this table a lot of time to interpret the data 
and even in the questions they are not straightforward you need to calculate something for this also for something for this also something for this also three out of four questions you need to again calculate after forming the table forming the table itself was very difficult this question should definitely be avoided in the exam but still you should practice it before the exam it will help you prepare hope you learned something from this video thank you please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos